We are going to dive right in to a damn good show. And as you see behind me already, I just think I need to put the caption up because, you know, I'm trying this whole new system here. The least I can do is get the captions looking good. Okay? Yes, you see it. This is not a joke, folks. Everybody out there screaming and crying, oh, mommy, I wanted you to build me the PC. You told me you were going to build it six months ago, mom. You just needed the GPU. That's all I was waiting on. You still can't get it. You're a loser, mom and dad. <laughs> yes, that is going to be happening even more. There has been a truckload of GPUs stolen. Now, I'm going to dive into the article, as you guys know I do, but I always like to give the bullshit side of it, the Nick Moses 05 side. So, do you guys think with this stolen truckload of GPUs that we will see GPUs hit the market for a lower price? Hey, it might be like Robin Hood giving back. Ooh, let's give a couple of air horns. We don't know. It might be Robin Hood giving back. This truckload might have been stolen on some Vin Diesel triple X shit. And it's going to come back and it's going to be on the market for a lower price. But who am I kidding? That's bullshit. We know good and well these GPUs are going to hit the market for three times the value as all the other ones have. Now, we're going to dive into the article, but there's some things I could already tell you. If these are stolen, I'm sure it's locked down. Anything stolen, whether it's computer parts or something like that, I'm sure they're tagging your ass. As soon as you get online, boop, 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 they got you. That's just the way I feel. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get to the article, and I want to get through the show pretty quickly. So I'm going to spice through this shit, okay? But we're going to have a damn good show. All right, so truckload of GPU stolen. And I want to go ahead and give you um, the direct article and the specifics. I don't want to cheat you on this, okay? Oh, mm. that's so damn good. Mm. Excuse me, let's pull it up on screen. I'm, I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> A truck. Full of precious PC graphics cards have been stolen. Dropping the bomb. And it was in Cali. Holler at California. Knows how to party. Shout out, California. You already got everything. Come on, man. Slide some of those GPUs. All right, anyway. According to EVGA, do you pronounce it a certain way? You know, I, I, I'm i I'm the type that I always pronounce shit wrong. And I, I always say EVGA. Is it a Vega? Okay. Sim Broly, that's my dog. Let me send you. I see you out there. I ain't going to say nothing. I got the chat on the side. I try to pee. I try to pee. Okay. I see y'all out there. I'm trying to jump. But anyways, a shipment of RTX 30 series graphic cards have been stolen from a truck in Cali, officially, okay? It's been stolen. I do not care how badly you think you need more frames per second. You should not rob a truck to do it. Now, I want to shout out Renata Price for this article. Renata, you dug into this. I see. I can tell. You know about, all right, okay. (laughs) But for those who are blissfully unaware Graphics cards seem to have become more valuable than certain life-saving medications. How is that? How is it that graphics cards are more valuable than life-saving medications? Like, seriously, you you can probably sell a a graphics card and make more than you would selling a life-saving medication. Just think about that. I want you all to see how sick and disgusting we are all together me include okay this is a result of a global chip shortage caused by the pandemic paired with ridiculous levels of demand from gamers and crypto miners now for all of you that are crypto mining do your thing but y'all started this guy Let, let's be honest the crypto miners started this whole thing then the chip shortage the pandemic all this wow one big thing kind of got to thank y'all for that Each stolen card is marked by a serial number. Do you hear that? 
I don't even need to be a rocket scientist to know that. Let me just tell you guys, if you guys ever buy something from someone that could possibly be stolen, the first thing I typically do, okay, and I'm, granted, I'm from a place where a lot of people don't grow up and make it, okay? But the first thing I do is say, hey, is it stolen? And I usually get an answer back like, no, nah, man, it ain't stolen. I have the option of making a decision to think, is this guy lying to me? And if he took that long, yes. Okay. Some guy just going to tell you, man, I'm going to be honest. It's stolen. Don't get online with it, but you can play. And if you don't register it, guess what? You can use it as normal, I bet. But so if you attempt to register these stolen cards, it will not work. However, you don't need to register a graphics card to actually use it. So not only can purloined graphics processors fly under the radar, but people who purchase said cards may totally be unaware their card is even stolen until the moment they attempt to register it. Damn. Imagine being that guy. Let's say you're playing um Amazon's New World. <laughs> You burn your whole shit up. <laughs> your whole your whole damn computer's on fire. You're mad as hell. You're like, this damn 30 series card. Oh, gosh, I'm going to the manufacturer. Well, yeah, about that. <laughs> That's stolen, brother. That's not even part of it. You shouldn't even purchase that. You have to purchase directly from one of our retailers. You're lost. <laughs> You're lost. Now. I will say some extra information. Retail value of each one of these stolen cars. So whoever stole this truckload, first of all, I don't know if it's multiple individuals, one person. I'm sure if you're stealing a truckload with a license plate on it, you're taking it somewhere, you're parking it somewhere, and you're emptying the hell out that truck. And then next thing you know, you leave the truck wherever. You let them get the truck. You know, you don't care. You're not trying to go down for grand theft and all the stealing of the truck. You just wanted the product. But you're going to get charged for all that shit when they cost you, to be honest. But each one has a retail value between $329 and $2,000. Half an air horn and a bomb. It was called for. Just think of that. Imagine even if you had 20 cars that you can sell for $2,000. A truckload full of these cards. So I ask you all, if you knew the individual that stole this truckload of cards, would you benefit? Would you buy said cards? Would you not register them? Hey, that's what's going to be happening soon. So if you're looking on Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, anywhere you're looking to buy something, just be aware that you may be buying a stolen card that when you attempt to register it, you will find out, damn, it's stolen. I just had to get that piece out. So go to chat. I ain't missed nothing. Yo, you got the shout out all day, man. They will be using Bitcoin. Yo, Bitcoin, shout out to Bitcoin, man. I ain't even hating on all that. I don't even hate on the cryptocurrency. I'm one of those guys that's the old guys that get down with the cryptocurrency. I'm all for it. I got the Coinbase app, all that shit. I be, <laughs> let me get a little bit of Ethereum. <laughs> okay, Litecoin. Oh, let me get a little bit of that. Hey, I'm down with that. Okay? I ain't got no problem with the cryptocurrency, guys. If they want to, hey, put cryptocurrency in Fortnite. I don't give a shit. <laughs> put cryptocurrency in everything. Shit, they already got loot boxes and everything. There's no point to go through that. 